your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video as you can see from the title is a review on the free Tress deep twist crochet hair now as you saw in that title this is a review video so it's not an install a DIY a tutorial or how-to video no it's literally a review talking about the hair I come on here first with my first day thoughts of a crochet hair literally moments after install telling you overall was an easy install hard install how many packs I I use overall is the hair lightweight and overall my first day impressions of the hair then I come on here one week later with my one week thoughts of a crochet hair telling you overall how the nighttime routine has been with the hair and overall has it gone uphill or downhill in a matter of a week then I come on here whether I'm able to wear the hair for three four five six seven weeks I come on the final day that I'm wearing that hair telling you overall how the hair has lasted through the weeks has it really gone uphill or downhill over the course of those weeks whether it's water friendly active wear friendly and overall whether I recommend you run out and go try said hair now there are time stamps down below for those who may be impatient I want to skip around to certain parts of the video but for those who want to watch the continuous flow keep watching to see my first day thoughts on this free dress deep twist hair a few moments later so now coming on here for my day one thoughts on this free dress deep twist hair now I do have it in the 22 inch version and I do have it in the color if you can see on here it's a TT33 now I did purchase this hair at my local beauty supply store I didn't see a lot of places that had this TT33 color online but if I can find a vendor who has it online or if he, I can even find I think my vendor Tyson who I bought um, in stores but I think they have an online presence I'll link them down below too if that helps you might be if you've been watching my channel forever like you've already tried this hair yes this was the first ever hair that I tried in my life and that's what made me turn this camera on and become a youtuber was me putting this hair in in 2016 in July of 2016 now we are here in July of 2022 six years later so I thought it just made sense it is a hair that is so polarizing I loved it back then but we need to make sure I love it now because I get so many varying comments about that hair nowadays I get comments like like this I got this one recently where it was like girl did they change the formula like it was was you talking about something back in 2016 that ain't really the case in 2022 and then I get comments like this which I just got the other day which is like my mom loves it we love the free trust deep twist it is still holding strong and these are like still within this last month so even now still I get such up and down comments and again neither of these parties could be wrong like you could really hate a hair I love and you could really love a hair I hate it's opinion based on this channel and I want that to be clear TT33 is different than the times I've tried it in the past I think it was 1B and a color 2 of the past now like I also said in my intro this is not an install or a tutorial video however I do have an install for this hair and I'll link that up above I thought it was important for me to install this hair because neither of the times of the past did I actually install this hair my cousin my play cousin installed it the first time my mother installed it the second time so I had never personally installed it and it was a very interesting install you're gonna want to put some some mousse on this hair before you install it in your head it's a very soft hair very soft bulk hair be aware of that this is not a hair where the sections are already pretty for you they're already predefined for you know it's gonna take a little bit of work it's gonna take a little bit of work so put some mousse on the hair doesn't matter the mousse I have Vigoral mousse right in front of me right now put any kind of non-alcohol mousse in this hair before you put it in your head because it'll save you some time in the separation once I put that mousse in there it was easy peasy with the separations of this hair but I can't tell you what size pieces I use because it's really a judgment it is really a pulling on your own and you judge the size I did use five packs of this hair which is really in line with what the past was three and a half packs is what Janiqua used when she installed it the very first time my mom used five packs I used almost five packs so I say four and three-fourths packs of hair although I did waste a big bulk of it at the beginning of me installing it because of not applying that mousse I, I didn't realize and it became a big blob if you saw that install video but you're definitely gonna need no more than five packs so don't buy several several packs of this hair I do have ten braids going all kind of straight back and then my mom kind of veered off on the side she did do my braid down for me and then I did the install portion today it took me roughly two hours to do it because it does take a little bit more when you have to sell 
separate out and then on top of that when I had to get a rhythm of moosing and then letting the moose sit and then doing all that so it did take a little bit long I did uh kind of triple quadruple I knotted several times in the back like when I was going through you're gonna have to knot this hair quite a few times in the front I did do invisible knots to give myself a realistic looking hairline I haven't done a turnaround yet let me do a turnaround do not judge the cutting as of yet um this is the first day this is first day don't don't, don't get no judgments yet this is the very first day i'm not gonna cut it super short i do get a lot of questions on this channel why don't you try a lot of short hairs it's just not me it's just not me there's a lot of creators on here who try short hairs don't bring me out of my box go check out them go check out the shorter hair creators and then a lot of my hair you can you know cut short just or you know some of them have a shorter version like free trust deep twist does have a shorter i believe like 12 inch version of this hair so same formula this hair is very lightweight and breathable i had a breathable crochet hair video a while back that i did and i had this hair on there just because i just remembered i didn't need to re-put it back in to remember that this was a very breathable hair but putting it back in made me be like yep yeah, still breathable still super breathable i can definitely feel through my calp it's so soft which is scared me a wee bit for um how this is gonna hold up the softness and the fact that it's so breathable and like wait like i said in that breathable video a lot of the hair on that list are very breathable but maybe not my favorites so i can already tell we might have some maintenance on our hands but we're gonna see and you're gonna see in one week when i come back from my first week thoughts so stay tuned to see that one week later so now coming on here for my one week thoughts of this free tress deep twist hair i'm fudging the numbers a little bit it's like two days before my first week but i am going on a plane in a few hours to um a special destination you guys will see the vlogs you probably already have seen the vlog so you already know where i went but i am going there and so i wanted to do this while i'm here so this is the one week look of the hair let me lean in so you guys can see turn around turn around turn turn now i have to say though i'm not gonna give all the details about products now because i'm still working that out myself the products for this hair i'm gonna have to kind of figure it out because this hair has definitely been some maintenance this ain't no low maintenance this is mm, far from it far from it definitely gearing towards medium we're gonna see if it's stretches on through to high by the end of my wear with this but one weekend it's definitely giving me some twistings i've had to twist at night every single night um which i wanted to, to still look good by this trip so that's why I, I took the time to do the effort I, I probably would have fallen off a few days if i had nowhere to go but because i'm going somewhere i did take the time to give it the tlc that it deserved i have been using uh, like a mousse one day I've used water and then I of course used some Hawaiian silky but I did try to dilute it by putting in a little bit of water or like spraying the water in the Hawaiian silky at the same time so that it could get in there so it's not full Hawaiian silky so still working through what products are going to be needed but that is what I've been doing so far so the nighttime routine has been the twisting up into five big twists so just taking places wrapping it up and then I also put that in a ponytail and then I put it in my bonnet as well as fridge has been a big concern with the hair it's not as bad right now because I have clipped it a bit before you know I leave I don't want to go with looking like a frizz ball but I, I'm sure I bought little baby scissors because I know while I'm gone it's gonna still do that frizz frizzing wasn't a just here thing it's gonna be a here there and everywhere thing so I'm gonna have to deal with that but overall the look I still am really loving it I'm still liking it I think I made the right choice for the travels however I um, um, it might give me some grief I'm sure during this trip so to see my final thoughts to see how long I'm able to wear this hair and to see what my thoughts are gonna be post this trip just keep watching to see my final thoughts on this free tress deep twist hair later so now coming on here for my final thoughts on this free tress deep twist hair as you can see from the sign it has been three weeks with this hair and let me lean in so you guys can see I think the hair has gotten progressively shorter throughout it is no longer that 22 inches um I have not cut it in any kind of particular way or fashion or manner it's just been kind of as 
tangles and frizz and mat balls have happened at the bottom. I just had to snip, snip, snip. So overall, how I'm feeling about this hair as opposed to how I felt about it six years ago in July of 2016 is... I don't know. I was very new. I was very new to crochet hair and I had nothing to compare it to before the day I tried it. I watched that video and I look back at it. It's cringe. Like if you've ever seen that video, I'll insert like a five second clip. Um, this is my first video and I wanted to come in here and talk about one of my newest favorite loves, um, which is crochet hair. Um, I currently have in the free dress deep twist. Um, look like this comes in a pack like this. It is hard to muster through watching that video. I don't know how that video now has like over 30,000 views. I think it's just people who have come to my channel and wanted to see the beginning. Um, it is entertaining if you want a good little laugh, but I had no clue what I was doing six years ago at this exact same time. It is funny to see the progression. It's funny to see me whispering because I didn't think this was gonna be a thing and I didn't want my roommate to laugh at me and judge me for talking to a strange camera and now it comes a little bit more naturally to me. But um, I think that person had nothing to compare crochet hair to and now this person has a lot to compare crochet hair to. So it is a different feeling this go around. I will say getting into maintenance, high. It's very high maintenance. It has been a lot of scissors every single day with this hair. When I say a hair is medium maintenance, it's usually the scissors maybe one every three days, one every four days, something of that sort. This is an every single day. I'm having to either cut frizz, tangles, or mats. And when I say like this, this is on a constant basis like there's an everyday element to having to remove that from my head the same thing goes with frizz looking back at my vlogs you guys know I spent a week in New York and Chicago combined and there are parts of the vlog where you see a big old pile of frizz just hanging off to the side I'm glad I brought my little scissors with me and I've started traveling with those now that I've realized these hair require me to take scissors with me um, I cut that and then the next day in the vlog you don't really see that blob of frizz just coming off to the side but there are days like that traveling or not traveling that that happens and it's a nuisance and again it's what puts it in the high maintenance category but it is something that I can I can contain or manage I'll say in comparison to the past I don't think it was like that and it is to be expected or I can understand that six years later this could be a different type of a hair there has been a global pandemic in these last six years and a lot of things changed in terms of factories and all of that especially in 2020 um, a lot of this hair is made overseas of course um, all these companies are owned by asian companies i don't know whether it's china specifically korea vietnam uh, thailand i don't know what specific company that manufactures these or owns these companies i do know that they are predominantly manufactured overseas as well and those countries took the global pandemic very very seriously with the shutting down of production in a lot of their areas and it wouldn't surprise me if they shut down a facility and created it in another facility and couldn't get their hands on some of the same supplies that wouldn't shock me at all because I do feel like this hair does lack some of the integrity that the past hair had and that's um, unfortunate a wee bit but I will say I have liked the look of it the hair still looks as gorgeous as it did back in 2016 I love the pictures I've taken in this it makes me feel good to get the compliments to see the eyes on it I do like that element but I don't like the behind the scenes high maintenance of it I really don't I'm not a high maintenance girl I'm not a high maintenance lover so that has been the most frustrating element of this is the continuous perpetual having to detangle so the next thing is it swim approved how do i feel about this hair because it's always perpetually made my swim approved list i've always put it on that list because it was the first hair that i ever did go on vacation with and did spend time in a pool with and i did do all those things with so in my mind yes back then i thought it was the best swim approved hair and now that i've had a lot more do i feel the same way I will say I swam in this hair two 
times, two days. I typically go to swim lessons on Saturday and then Wednesday, Thursday, I go to the pool. I chose Wednesday, Thursday because most of the time it's less crowded on Wednesday, Thursday. People most of the time go on weekends. So that's why in a lot of my clips that you guys have seen me in swimming, you're like, where are people at? Do you have this pool to yourself? Uh, no, there are people in there during the weekend. So that's why it would be weird if I had a camera or you'd see a lot of people's feet or bodies in the background. But because I go on off times, you don't see it. And two, I got a question in one of my recent videos. They were like, just to get it straight, you're swimming with the hair on camera to show us. But if you weren't on camera, you would have a swim cap or a swim turban on. That's exactly correct. When I go to my swim lessons, I'm wearing my swim turban. If I'm swimming in the pool for practice and really practicing, I'm putting my swim cap on. It takes nothing to put a swim cap on. When I've made my videos in the past to say something is swim approved or beach approved or going on vacation approved, the title has always been like beach friendly, ocean friendly, vacation friendly and all of that. Most of the time when you're going on vacation, you're sitting by the pool, you might hop in for a minute. It is not the rigorous motion of going through swim lessons and really being in the water in the water swim lessons I'm not trying to look cute for nobody I'm not at the beach I'm not in Miami me yeah, I may be on the streets of Miami wearing a swim cap is a little not as cute as not wearing a swim cap and looking sexy in your swimsuit but I'm I'm in practice mode when I go to the pool on Wednesday Thursday I'm there mainly to practice and having my hair out the way when I'm learning is the best option having it pull back into a cap is just the better option but I'm giving you guys an idea of how this would look if you just were going to a beach and you're not in lessons or you're not in swim class or you're not Michael Phelps and you're in the Olympics and you're swimming on a constant basis. So I do swim for the purposes of just showcasing on this channel and it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite anymore. I, I think I'm gonna have to remove it. I'm gonna have to yank it and it's not gonna get an honorable mention anymore because I think it is already kind of tangles mats and has that high maintenance every day having to deal with the ability on land it amplifies it in the water so wednesday was a hot mess i did it again thursday hot mess again i was like you know what maybe for a cute photo op like maybe Again, when I went to the Bahamas on my trip, we got into a pool, we rolled that giant slide that Atlantis has that's like super fun and it slides down like that. We did that, but I wasn't in the pool like for these clips, I was in the pool for about 30 minutes each day. So about an hour of nonstop continuous. But yes, unfortunately, only swim approved if you're just looking cute by the pool. If you're just looking cute by the pool, probably a good to go if you are looking to actually um, swim for long periods of time and you don't want to have a cap on my suggestion is if you're swimming for long periods of time and you're going back and forth and doing laps in a pool just put a swim cap on unless there's a fine guy there and you're trying to press him and you know you just want you don't the swim cap ain't sexy the swim cap is reminding you of 1970s 1960s little ads of women wearing those crazy swim caps but if you are you know going to the Y going it for fitness doing some water aerobics in the water Put your swim cap on either, even if you have crochet hair in. It doesn't have all the properties of a swim cap. And then last but not least is the active friendly. It wouldn't be my first choice. I have a whole playlist of what suggestions I do give for active because of the high maintenance of it on land without doing anything, living a very sedentary life. I don't think that adding an element of activeness in it, which in turn, you're gonna wanna wash your hair probably a lot more frequently when you do have that active lifestyle. I think it's just not gonna be the best option. So unfortunately, do I recommend this hair? That's the overall question. If it's a two week situation, you don't mind the maintenance, you kind of stand around the house, I think it's beautiful. I, I will never like regret the beauty of this hair and the cuteness that this hair gives me. It's I think it always is gonna have a special place in my heart. However, I do not think Free Trust Deep Twist is the hair that it once was. So unfortunately, I might say that there are better hair on the market. I think it's gonna look really, really good, but you're gonna have to put a lot of work into it. Um, and so if you're willing to put that work into it, which a lot of people are willing to put the work into it, and on occasions I'm willing to put some work into a hair, especially if I'm gonna be taking a lot of pictures, I think this will work for you. But if you're looking for a low maintenance and you're looking for, I'm just trying to chill, this ain't gonna be your, I'm just trying to chill. But if you're looking for, I'm trying to look good and you gonna look good in this hair so that is overall my opinion on the free tress deep twist hair 
thank you guys so much for watching this video and going through this journey with me for the last six years it's so it comes full circle with the retrying of this hair and it feels incredible make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't enjoy it we want all the love and support over here and we want to subscribe so you don't miss any of the other content that i have for the maybe next six years that i'm doing this journey and make sure that you're following me on instagram at lilamon89 so you can know what i'm doing in real time and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye